Hey there, I'm professional psychic Karen Marie, and this is a reading for Leo, Sun, Moon, and Rising signs for the week of February 27th through March 5th, 2023. Thank you so much for tuning in. Make sure you check out my Psyched Up Sundays video. I've put the link below this one. That's where I talk about the astrological transits for this upcoming week, and that video is for all the signs. I've drawn three cards for you. I have a recent past card, which is the isolation card. So this could be that you have chosen to remove yourself from others. It could be a positive removing. It's just too peopley out there and you're like, no, thank you. You could just feel lonely and sad and isolated, not really wanting to be alone. Either of these options could come up for you. There is this tears that are happening. This person or figure is crying. So it does feel like there's some old heartache or old sadness or grief that has come up recently and you know and it feels like it's stuck um and so there may have been i mean you may have already moved through this since it's showing up in the recent past if it still feels like it's stuck there's a need to like climb into the tub and cry or the shower or take a walk do some movement even do some journaling um do some artwork it feels like there's a need to get in touch with clearing out some energy that's stuck in your physical body. The card that's representing you for right now is the dream card. So this card comes up a lot when people are wanting to focus on their dreams, creating a vision for themselves and for the life that they want. So that's a beautiful aspect. However, this card comes up the most in private sessions for clients who are in relationships and they're tapped into the potential that the relationship can be but they're not experiencing it. This card can also come up for people who are single, desiring to have relationships. So if you're in a relationship and you're hooked into the potential of what the other person can be, hoping they'll change, um, the only thing you can change is if that person wears a diaper. Otherwise, you can't change the person and you cannot expect someone else to change. If you've been in this kind of situation long term, you may need to have a come to Jesus meeting with yourself, realizing that if you're not happy and getting what you really want from a relationship, it may be time to remove yourself from the relationship. If you're single and hoping to manifest a relationship, keep putting out there what qualities that you want in the relationship and how you want to feel feel when you are in relationship. You want to feel joyful and peaceful and secure and safe, right? These are some examples. All right, so the card that's representing you for the upcoming week is the inner voice card. This is one of my psychic cards. It tells me your psychic abilities are going to be on like Donkey Kong, as a friend of mine used to say. You got the two dolphins swimming and synchronicity with each other. This person has a whole head coming out of their third eye, so a whole lot of information being downloaded psychically out of your psychic sight could come in in dreams. You're just strong intuition. You're picking up on someone. You can know that they're picking up on you if someone's crossing your radar in a strong way regularly, that you're also crossing theirs. So there can be a psychic communication happening even if there's not a literal one or you may find this week that you're thinking about someone and then they call or you call someone and they say to you I was just thinking about you so it feels like psychic events are the theme for the week ahead have a good one peace